What's up guys? I'm Isaac with Tobacco Road Harley Davidson here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I've got a 2021 Ultra Limited in Billiard Red and Vivid Black with the black trim for you today here for our new Bike of the Week. Now, if you remember last week, we talked about the 2021 Street Glide Special, and we said that it was a bike for serious riders. Well, what we've got here today, it's like a street glide, but bigger and packed with more features to help make those long trips that much more enjoyable. But since we used the street glide special last week, we'll kind of use that as a baseline for something to compare this bike to today. Now, first, I'm going to start with the similarities between this and the street glide special, just the, some of the features that they share. They both have a six gallon fuel tank feeding a 114 Milwaukee 8 motor that goes into a six speed transmission. You'll find the same gear ratios in each of those bikes. 32 degrees of lean on both the right and the left, whereas on the Street Glide, you only had 31 degrees of lean on the left. And the seat height here is 27 and a half inches, which puts you about an inch and a half higher up than on that Street Glide. Now where the biggest difference is, or I should say the heaviest difference, is gonna be in the weight between these two bikes. This bike in running order sits right at about 917 pounds which isn't a huge difference, but it's enough weight that you probably aren't gonna wanna make this your next bar hopper for downtown Raleigh, but it's still manageable to push around. And the upright riding position that I'll show you later makes maneuvering a good bit easier once you get the hang of it. But what the biggest thing you'll find that we'll talk more about later is just how comfortable this bike is. This bike is certainly designed for somebody spending hours and days upon days in the saddle. So let's start tearing this thing apart. We've got the billiard red and the vivid black color option on this bike with the black trim. This is one of my favorite color schemes and arguably it looks the best on the Ultra Limited. On the front and rear wheels are the cast aluminum Slicer 2 rims and dual Brembo brakes with ABS. Moving on up, you'll find responsive front and rear suspension with adjustable rear shocks to help you fine tune the preload based on the weight of the motorcycle, including the rider, the passenger, and the luggage weight. Then we have the bright LED headlight with a set of LED passing lights on either side for that extra two-way visibility. Then you've got the large bat wing fairing. This fairing is designed to help keep a lot of the elements of the road off of you, but still let a certain amount of wind in when you want it. It has the taller, clear windscreen, so that way you can easily see out in front of you and it'll help keep that wind up above your helmet a little bit better. But if you do want a little bit more wind in your face, then you can switch this out for a shorter windshield, no problem. You've got the vents right underneath it, so that way you can still keep some of that breeze coming into you. Then on either side, you have adjustable deflectors that can be easily adjusted to tilt more wind at you. You can open it up just like this, shoot more air up at the rider, or close it right on back to help keep that cold air off of you. This bike has lower fairings on the engine guard. These also have vents in them, so that way you can shoot a little bit more air up to you as well on the summer days, which can be adjusted with just pushing this little lever right across, just push that closed and it'll help seal some of that off from you. Now the cool thing with these is that these will actually help keep the engine cooler as well. On both sides you've got a fan and oil coolers inside so that way they're constantly letting air pass through and come out on either side and direct it away from you. Then you have a way for the oil and the motor to help stay a little bit cooler and keep the motor's temperature regulated better. Also to help keep you cooler, you'll find these deflectors on either side of the bike to help keep that heat off your legs a little bit better. Now back up to the fairing. Inside you'll find the Boom GTS infotainment system. Once again, we're not going too deep into that setup because we're going to be doing another video on how to operate that, but I'll still cover some of the quick highlights on it. It can be operated with either the touchscreen or the joysticks by the thumbs. You can use the screen to control music, your phone, navigation, and see some stats about the bike. There's Bluetooth, so if you'd rather have your phone in your jacket pocket instead of the bike, you're certainly welcome to do so. You've got speakers on either side of the gauges and a simple gauge setup. You've got your fuel gauge, your speedometer, your tachometer, and your voltmeter. On the handlebars, standard setup. You've got controls for the infotainment system. This bike also has traction control and heated grips are on this bike. It's got six settings to make sure your hands are the perfect amount of warm. You can adjust that by simply turning the knob on the outside of the left hand grip. And in just a minute, you'll start feeling that nice warm heat. They're keeping your fingers from freezing off on those particularly cold nights. This bike also has electronic cruise control uh, for kicking back on the open road or just to give your throttle hand a much needed break. Right here on the center console, you've got the discrete gas cap, which can be found simply pushing this button 
and pop open here here to help keep the tank just a little bit cleaner now the ultra limited does still have hookups for the intercom between rider and passenger you can plug both those in right here under right below the gas cap and the passenger can plug theirs in on this side of the backrest and they can control both the volume and the mode uh, right here on the right. So I'll go ahead and hop on this bike and show you, give you a better idea of the riding position. It's a nice upright riding position. So with your feet on the floorboards and arms on the handlebars, you'll see that we're sitting pretty nice and cozy the whole way out west. Nice tall windscreen, so keep the wind off your face, but you can still see through it and see most everything you need to from right here. You've got the deflectors keeping the elements off of you. Nice heated grips, comfortable seat, good music there's no excuse not to be out riding on this thing but as nice as this bike is for the rider it's actually just as nice for the passenger now a lot of bikes will offer a back seat and foot pegs for passenger but they're not really set up to really travel and tour very far with that passenger uh, the case here is this bike is ready to go as far as you want with one or two people You've got plenty of luggage room, so that way you can carry both your gear and their gear. And it's a super comfortable spot for the passenger too. It's a nice, wide, soft seat. You've got the backrest from the tour pack. They've got their own speakers back here, the floorboards. There's even guards for the bags that even keeps your foot from scuffing up the bags too much from back here. Plenty cozy, no excuse for the rider to be out riding, and no excuse for the passenger to not be right there with them either. But enough of that, let's show you some of the storage options on this bike. Got pretty standard saddlebags on this guy, uh, just like all the others, simple lift up the latch here, open it up. You've got nice room for all your gear in each saddlebag that can be easily accessed and we'll close this. But the biggest highlight with storing your luggage on this bike is gonna be the tour pack. Now, it does have the locking latch so you can put whatever gear in here and that goes for all the way around uh, each of your saddlebags can lock independently and you also have the tour pack that can be locked but when you're ready to get in you'll just lift this latch up and lift it right on up and it's got this nice little strap here to help keep it from going too far and right inside this nice little soft area uh, you've got a nice little organizer to help keep like your keep some of your important paperwork in and then You've got a nice little bag, put like a spare set of keys or something like that in there if you want. It does have a 12 volt charger right here, but if you've got an electronic device that you wanna be charging and protected on the ride, then you can simply set it back here, plug it in and keep on going. And the nice thing about the tour pack is that even if it is just a quick little ride out to dinner or something like that, there's enough room in here for your helmets as well. So obviously leaving your helmet on your bike is always a big concern whenever you're going in somewhere and you don't always love to carry it inside with you. So what you can do is you can just nestle both helmets right there beside each other and close the tour pack up, set it down, lock it up, and then you don't have to worry about, A, your helmet's getting damaged or stolen, and you have to carry them around with you. Another additional feature of the tour pack is that this one does have the luggage rack on top. That way you've got a little bit of overflow room. So if you've got some additional gear that won't quite make it in anywhere, you can just throw some bungee straps over, and that way you've got that room to help make sure you don't leave anything behind. This bike does give you plenty of room to store everything, but you wanna make sure you're not going over any weight limits on anything. That can make your riding experience unsafe. Now, the nice thing about these is that they tell you the maximum weight or the weights that you should never exceed on either of them. So on the tour pack, it'll tell you uh, that on 09 and later models, not to put any more than 30 pounds in the tour pack, and Inside the saddlebag, it'll tell you not to exceed 20 pounds in each bag on 09 and later saddlebags. And with packing saddlebags, you always want to make sure that the weight is balanced as best you can on either side, so that way you don't have a particularly heavy weight on one side that'll make handling, especially at low speeds, unpleasant. But other than that, you've got plenty of room in here for both your luggage, your passenger luggage, and any of your souvenirs you might pick up, like a new t-shirt from your favorite Harley Davidson. So that's our overview of the 2021 Ultra Limited here at Tobacco Road Harley-Davidson in Raleigh, North Carolina. If you want to know more about this bike right now, be sure to slide over to our website where you can see more photos of this bike and more information on 
the bikes like this that we have in stock. If you want to see this bike in person, be sure to stop down here in Spacker Road and come give us a visit. Ask any of our sales associates and we'll be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you out here soon.